everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best designed B pluses I have ever seen. I absolutely love the way this motorhome looks. And truthfully, I didn't know about it until right now while we're filming it. This is a 2022 Gulfstream BT Cruiser model 5420B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be showing you this BT Cruiser. And again, it's something that even me, being in the industry for so long, I didn't even know about this floor plan. So it's super uber exciting. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey everybody. Hey Andrea. Um, what do you mean it's super exciting and it's something different? Never seen it before, yes. It's just a very well laid out, very smart design, and they executed it very well. Well, I can't wait to see it. Anytime yeah. I get to see something new, it's exciting. Yes, and? And guys, don't forget about our t-shirts. Yes, we only got about a week left. A week left, guys. Beep, give edition. me porcelain or give me dad. Make sure you click the link down below. Or yes. you can go to the website to purchase, you guys. One more week left. Yep, and limited edition means after this week, you can't get it anymore. So we appreciate it. Andrea, let's begin. Model is 5420B BT Cruiser. The actual tip to tip length is 25 feet 5 inches. This BT Cruiser, this is made by Gulfstream. They classify this as a B plus. When all you when when all you people out there on the interweb get mad at me for saying the terminology B plus, these guys invented that terminology. You and I both know it's not a B plus. It is a Class C motorhome. A Class C is anything on a cutaway chassis. But Andrea, why do we say B plus? Um, it's just easier. It performs better. Yeah. This does sit on an E350 chassis, Andrea, and it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. That's 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at the bunk over the cab. It's not a bunk over the cab, it's storage, but it's a nice aerodynamic design. And then look at these tires, Dre, and the hand cooks. Got a pro. 225-75R16. Right here, we have these awesome mirrors right here. These are firm, these are um, stable, and you'll be able to control the mirrors from the inside. I love that. Coming on in here, can you feel that gust? No. Oh. I can't feel anything right now. Okay, okay. Well, hang on. I'll show you something in a second. Right here is the inside of the motorhome and everything. Then I'll try it. Just stand right here. Oh. You feel that? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very that nice. feels really, really nice. You missed the camera right there, Matt. Yes, ma'am. Right there, we do got the cameras. And guys, we're sorry about this. We're going to act a little delirious because it's extremely hot here in Texas. Cameras on left side and right side. A very nice big power awning with the LED lights. And because it's a BT Cruiser, they do use Asdell. Asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Right there, we do got frameless windows. And then we got storage right there. Okay, electrical now, outlet. Yes, now when I say never delaminate on you, fiberglass is normally stuck together with Luon. Luon's a wood glue composite, so when there's moisture, that's when it separates. That's when you get the bubbling in the fiberglass. The Asdell, that won't happen. A lot of people have been asking, Andrea. Right, here's your water heater. Okay, watch right your step your there. Potable. Where? Where? Right here, Matt. Where? Oh, potable water fill, potable. All right, what's, what's in here? Andrea, Andrea, potable water fill, potable. I said potable. 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 Okay, nice vertical storage wow, right there. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't think it'd have one that big in here. Yes. Coming around the back, we do got a nice fiberglass rear cap. Ladder to get up on the roof. 5,000 pound hitch. And this does have a spare tire, spare tire carrier. Also, the backup camera is integrated in that rear tail light. But Andrea, we brought our U-steps with us. So let's go up on the roof and see what's going on. Go ahead. Here we go now. Hold on. Up here on the roof, 
You can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. One AC unit right there, wine guard digital antenna, and then you do have a cutout there if you did want to add a Max Air fan. Careful. Here we go now. All right. Andrea, I feel, call me crazy, like it's hotter up on the roof than it is down here. Sure. Guys, if you can see, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. And Matt, nobody's gonna take a U-step to the airport like you did either. Right. Right over here is our dumps, okay? Very nice. This is gonna be storage for our Stinky Slinky. Cable hookup right here. What the heck's this? Outdoor shower right there. Fuel fill up. City water, black tank flush. Interesting. 30 amp power cord. Propane tank. Emma Andrea. Bing! There's all the specs about this motorhome. Little bit of storage there. And then here is our generator here. It is an Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome is great, but the inside's even better. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, that feels fantastic. Can you check the cargo carrying capacity? Feels fantastic. It's very dark in here. Oh, hold on, let me take my sunglasses off. That would help. Oh my gosh, white cabinetry. Interesting. Okay, look, good walkway. This is definitely different. Plenty of space to get back here. Here's the kitchen. You can definitely open the refrigerator. And then look at this bathroom. Oh my gosh. Wow. Then Andrea, we're getting the slide out out and look how much bigger and spacious it is. Wow. Hold on, let me check that from here. Yes. Now before we start with the inside, Andrea, we need a few, few ugh, we need a few minutes to cool off. So while we cool off, here's a word from RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. <laughs> Andrea, is it hot or what? It is. Uh, I just fell asleep here on my couch. Is this not such a great floor plan design? It really is. Like, talk about a mobile office for a construction worker or an engineer or somebody who goes to job sites that just needs a restroom and a place to lay, but also a bed if needed. Can't wait to get started on this. But first, we go to the cockpit area. Look at these upgraded seats, very nice. This is your typical E350 chassis. You got your cup holders here for your Red Bulls. You got some soda holders right here, sound player, and then here's where your cameras are. You're able to see your left side, right side. I actually prefer this because you're able to see it the whole time. Not only that, these have power. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse me. <laughs> we got the power adjustable mirrors right here in our Class C motorhome. I have to actually adjust them individually. Matt, I'm, yeah? I'm not going to jump down there because I'm extremely overheated. Okay, well then you hold this <laughs> and I'll jump there for you. Enjoy up. There you go. We appreciate you recording in this heat. And it's different than Florida heat, ain't it? It, it really is. Um, right here, you know, traditional passenger seat. You got your uh, sun visor there. USBs all around. Very, very nice. Okay. 
What's interesting is there's no bunk over the cab. No, ma'am. You have all this storage. Very nice. The white cabinet. How do you like the white look? I like it. Yes, ma'am. Me too. Very nice. And then up here, Andrea, even though there's no bunk over the cab, you still get a privacy curtain. Okay? Right over here is the sofa, which as you saw me demonstrate, it was extremely comfortable and a pretty good length too. I mean, we have a motorhome now, and so when I sit on a sofa, I'm judging it based off of my sofa, and it is longer. Andre, this is plenty enough for me to be sitting here, and who's joining us here? Oh, Yuna. Oh, yes. Yuna takes up three-fourths of the sofa, while Andre and I were just crammed here in the corner. And look, I think there is a pedestal table that goes there. There certainly is. And you are looking directly across at the TV. Bum, bum, before we show the TV. Oh, the TV's coming up automatically. Nice. Look at these daytime blinds. Very nice. Look at these balances with the Vanna white lights. Very nice. And Andrea, what do you think of those balances? I don't know, I just, denied. Denied. Sorry, I just don't like them. <laughs> okay, but I did like how that TV did come I up did automatically. Too. Like, I it sounds like a big deal, or it sounds like it's stupid, but to stand there and hold the button yeah, for 30 seconds it annoying, is kind of annoying. I just want to push it so it comes up. Very nice. And let's see, Matt, what's nice is they gave you a little fireplace, too, which is an excellent source of heat, especially if you got some chill in the oh. and you could just... Get, turn it on and get that chill out of the air. Yes, cold. it does produce heat from electricity. Now, it doesn't automatically go down though, but it does automatically go up. Okay. Storage there. And Andre, if you can get that storage there. Okay. Very nice. All right, Andrea, show us this kitchen. All right, look at this. We'll start over here. We've got a microwave. Yes. A uh, free burner propane graystone cooktop. Very nice. How do you like that backsplash? You know what? I like it. I do like it. I do. At first I didn't, but it actually grew on me. So sometimes that happens. <laughs> I got a, we got an oven and then a drawer here. They gave you a window over here too, which is nice. All right. Nice solid surface countertop. Very pretty. Got a cabinet up here. Yes. Round sink. Knights of the round table. Yep. And uh, a cabinet under there for a trash can. Oh, Andrea, should we tell everybody about my new show that I'm watching? What? M I am... Uhtred. Son of... Um, Son Uhtred. Of Lord of Bibbenburg. Lord of Bibbenburg. What show is that? Uh, The Last Kingdom. Yep, on Netflix. If you guys don't watch it, <laughs> make sure you watch it. Hey, yo, that show is crazy. That's my new show. Because I can't I don't get... know. I used to watch shows like that all the time because I love historical stuff, but now yeah. I watch like Turkish dramas and uh, K-dramas and stuff. Andre but likes the Korean K-pop stuff. I like foreign, stuff. foreign drama. But anyways, look, look at this. We got a pantry here. Very Good nice. Space. Very nice space. A pocket door coming into the bathroom right. Oh, I did forget the refrigerator. Oh and my look at that. goodness. Uh, a place for the table to actually be. <gasps> I, I actually love, love that. that. Love that. Yep. Wow. You know what? And you could put so many, like a broom in there too. I love this. This is great. Yes. Okay, so we've got, uh, I've never seen a fridge like this before. It's, oh, it's the Dometic. You ain't never seen a fridge like me. It's a two-way. So it's LP, propane, and shore power. And yeah. It's very cold already. Yeah, and before we show the bathroom, Andrea, I gotta make the living room into the oh, bedroom. Oh, I forgot about that. I am Uhtred, son of Uhtred. That's been my show on the airplane. Okay, so, oh, it's oh. electric. Wow, I don't even think I would deal with putting that bed down. I would just sleep right there. Look at that. Interesting. Was it comfortable? Yes. This is a cute little floor plan. This is one of the best designed floor plans I've ever seen. Okay, we got a Murphy bed. How you doing? Wow, at least the fold's at the bottom, not, not the middle of your bone. back. Well, and um, yeah, yeah, you do have a window right there too. Yep. Little nightstands with yep. USBs. And that's probably a queen. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I like what they got going on here. Um, and it's just different. It's just, and again, this isn't gonna be for, this isn't for people that wanna like live in this. This is for people that need this whole living room concept. 
and then sometimes have a sleeping area. Great, Andre, let's show everybody the bathroom. Okay, so we'll come into the bathroom here. This bathroom is incredible. Yes. Uh, we have, well, you have your wardrobe space here. You've got a drawer. Very nice. Cap. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Lots of space for linens. This is your medicine cabinet. Yes. Good size seat. All right, all right. And uh, a cabinet under here. And then this is crazy. I can't believe how much space is back here in this bathroom. Look at this. Wow. Oh my god. I know. No. Oh my god. Isn't this insane for how little this motorhome is? Andrea. They messed it up. Give me porcelain or give me death. Bing! Limited edition t-shirts for one week only, Andrea. This is a bummer. Can I say something? I am Uhtred, son of Uhtred, and this is the primest of pooping positions that I've ever been in a class C or a B or a B plus, and they done put a plastic toilet in there. I know. Womp, 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 womp. Do you know how many womps I did there? I have no idea, but I'm just checking out this shower. It's a nice shower. It is. Look how big it is. For this this motorhome is so small, like I can't believe it. The bathroom is incredible. Andrea. This is better than our bathroom. It's better than most bathrooms, but yet they still failed us. Okay. Okay, Andrea, without further ado, I'm not asking you. We're not doing the MSRP. We're not doing any of those games. It's time for three things we do not like about this motorhome. Then we'll tell you three things we do love about it. Andrea. On three, point to the number one most disappointing pointing thing. One, two, three. What the heck is that? I have. BT Cruiser, Golfstream, you better listen here. You guys did a fantastic job on this motorhome. To put a porcelain toilet, I mean, to put a plastic toilet, what a shame. That is such a big dislike. I have never been more disappointed <laughs> in a plastic toilet in my life. I know. Get your limited edition shirts now. <laughs> Andre, that's dislike number one. Are you ready for dislike number sure. two? Sure. Okay. I do not like this. You know why? Because oh, like, you know yeah. Saying? If you have to go that way, exactly. you got to go this way. It's, it's not, yeah, you know, but again, it's, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. You put it up and you're good to go. I'd rather sleep on that. Right. That's dislike number two, and then I'll try it. I need a dislike number three. It's, it's really hard for me because I think this is very well designed. Matt, I'm sorry. I just can't. Okay, does he swivel? No. Okay, that is a dislike for me. Okay. Um, you know, we see it a lot in class seats now. Seats swivel. They should make them where those seats do swivel. I love it. Yeah. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Sure. I love this concept here. Yes. This is great. It's well designed, well the floor executed. floor plan. Again, I, I'm i not huge on the bed, but this for the person that just needs a living room and a kitchen and a bathroom and sometimes a sleeping area. And I really do love that. That is number one. Andrea, do you know my number two? The refrigerator? A designated spot for the table. Oh, yes. That is so genius and nice, and I absolutely love that. And it's very, very nice. And then what's your number three on there? Okay, my number three has got to be, I'm gonna combo it, but I love this rear bathroom. It is probably one of the best bathrooms I've ever seen. Yep. On a B plus or a C. Yep. Comboed with the storage capacity in here. So. Okay. Yeah, I am really surprised. Unreal, Andrea. Yeah, dog, please have a seat. It is just unreal, and they knocked it out of the park. And again, I'm not going to go there, but I'm going to go there. It is a shame that they gave a porcelain toilet or a plastic toilet. It just should have been porcelain. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $121,388, Andrea. That is MSRP, that is not sale price. Here's what I can tell you, sale price is gonna be a little less, close to $100,000, maybe even a little less. And here's something else that I know, Andrea, 
that MSRP is cheaper than most Class B sale units. So again, dollar for dollar, this is giving you the absolute most at the absolute best and BT Cruiser knocked it out of the park with this one. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're interested in this BT Cruiser or any motorhome, please go to our website. It is mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're here, we're gonna make sure you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Um, Golfstream, they do read the comments, so please leave your feedback. Yes. Um, guys, don't forget to get one of our limited, uh, limited edition t-shirts, bing! Give me porcelain or give me death, okay. especially in a BT Cruiser. Yes, they will only be available for about another week, so click the link down below or you can go to our website. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next time.